guys, welcome to another fun-filled episode of Taste This TV. Today's show is about salmon. BC salmon, talking about shipped from Canada. They really got a hold on the best salmon in the world. Where are they getting this fish? It's incredible quality. Uh, we went through great lengths to get it. We won't talk about it now, but uh, it's in my hands now. We're going to be working some magic. You know, we're going to be talking about doing some salmon. I'm going to go through some of the varieties and species of different salmons and then ultimately cook it and combine it with a, a beurre blanc sauce. We're going to be using an incredible wine today. We're going to be using uh, this incredible wine from New Zealand called Villa Maria. And uh, this is their Sauvignon Blanc, which is great for either fondue or, or, um, or beurre blanc sauce, I found. Incredible wine. We're also coming over to Salute Sante, which is a grapeseed oil. And today we're going to be using Jimmy John's sauce. Now they're hot sauce, but it's not just a, a, any hot sauce with Jimmy John's. It's got a really flavorful kick to it, uh, and it has some presence and some really nice ingredients in there. I'm gonna pour a drop in there because with my purple blanc sauce, I like a little bit of a kick. That's just me. Uh, so today we got a little bit of coho salmon here. We got some sockeye salmon. Uh, but what, what usually goes on with BC World is the sockeye coho chinook, which obviously you know is only around in the springtime, uh, unless they freeze it, but it's always good to uh, to get it around that time of the year, uh, pink and chum. And there are different varieties of salmon and the tastes are very different. Some fish are less in fat and, and, and they feel a bit more uh, syndicated on your tongue, on your palate. You know, they don't have that kind of high fat content that may be a farm raised or a fish that you might be used to eating. Um, this is some serious salmon. Once you've tried this, you're never gonna go back to the store-bought garbage, that I can guarantee you. Uh, because most of what the salmon are sold in the stores are, are farm-raised. The problem with the farm-raised salmon, I mean, look, now there's laws and regulations. Now they have to tell you kind of the number of it, the number of the farm-raised species, what it was fed, and you'll see a lot of times right there on that label, dye number 68, orange, com orange color number 54. Look, what is that telling you? They're throwing coloring pebbles in the farm-raised pond, sea, or cultivated water to produce the pink-looking uh, flesh that you're now going to consume. But they don't tell you kind of where they get that garbage to put into it. And then that's how we develop all these allergies and everything else. And we can go into a whole other show about that. But the reality is, go wild, BC salmon. It's funny too, I want to talk about these greens too. Botanical interest. This is week three, folks. Man, this is amazing. I've been cutting this and it's been growing back. Cutting it. It's really unbelievable. We're actually going to take this, put a little bit of Himalayan salt on top with a little bit of grapeseed oil. We're going to put it on the top not only for a garnish, but a delicious flavor. So you have some incredible, incredible greens here. So the first thing you want to do is obviously make sure that you've, you've cut the head out. But even a step further, what I like to do is just grab yourself a knife. And I like to go right behind the gills. Give it all slap here and you're good. And over here, I like to kind of just slice it. I like to make a V, right? So I'm going in some of the flesh that way, the some of the flesh that way, because you have a good amount of the bones here. You'll hear the bones kind of crack. That's a good sign that... And it's important to use a, a sharp knife. And again, you, sh you should hear your bone glide up against the bones. Then you know you're doing a good job. Now there's a couple of different ways of filleting this. You could have actually taken the salmon in the other direction. But what you want to end up with is basically all bones at this point. You're going to discard that. And then next we're going to trim this area out. Pin bones that you'll find right here.
Now you can do a lot with this salmon uh, skin, folks. You can fry it up. Uh, a lot of times a nice crispy salmon, especially when it's seasoned with salt and pepper, uh, really is incredible. Uh, I should probably actually sear one um, with the skin on just so you can see it. So now you have you have the side of salmon here and that's basically how to clean it. Obviously, look, you see this is a smaller fish and this fish really isn't that big either. So you're not going to get a huge fillet out of this baby after, after you fillet it. But really important to take these pin bones out, as I mentioned before, uh, and they sell these special clippers. You couldn't believe I forgot mine today. But uh, at any rate, we're going to cut here because from here down doesn't have any bones. What I wanted to do um, is just kind of go over that cooking salmon with the skin on is really good too. You just get to score it a little bit, right? You just make these little scores, these little indentations like that. And that way it will keep the, uh, the skin from kind of buckling and going up. See? You got yourself, you know, four nice pieces here of fillets. Look at this beautiful, beautiful flesh. And you don't see that, that much of the, the fat marbling uh, in this particular uh, sockeye. Sockeyes are, are, I'm going to call it a more of a meatier type of fish. Uh, great flavor, etc. But you're not going to see like uh, in a regular farm-raised fish, uh, you know, that you'd see generally in some of the stores where you see those white kind of fat globules. You can see a little bit, little bit of them over here. This flesh is really nice. This flesh is amazing, it's, it's fresh, it looks good, and that's exactly what we're looking for with fish. And it shouldn't have any smell to it as well. We don't want fish that smells like fish. It's sort of good fish, doesn't really have a scent at all. All right, so now we're going to get our pan very nice and hot. I'm going to put some grapeseed oil in there. You don't want to put a ton in there, but enough to really get the pan very hot. You know, grapeseed oil has a real high smoking point to it, which is really good. We're going to take this salmon skin side down and we just need a couple of more minutes on there as you can see. Let that get nice and hot. Very good. Now look at that, a beautiful nice skin on there, crispy skin. Okay, comes right off. So you don't even have to worry about, you know, fighting to get the skin off when it just comes off very easily. But look, you can eat the skin. There's nothing wrong with, with not eating the skin. I mean, the skin is very flavorful. Um, always make sure you shake in your pan. You know, the skin is very flavorful, but if you don't like it, you can easily take it off. So now we get started on the burnt block sauce. What we're gonna do is take our onions, throw them down in the pan, and we do want to cook these onions so that they do caramelize just a bit. That's how I like to make mine. You'll see a lot of recipes with beurre blanc sauce, which just say that, okay, well, you should just boil it in the, uh, the wine and let it reduce to a syrup and stuff like that. And you could do that if you want, but you want more flavor, this is definitely the way to go. All right, this looks good. Next, we're going to hit it with a little bit of white wine. Turn up the flame nice. And we're going to let that cook down. It gets about probably reduced by a third of what you see in here. And at the same time, it'll fully cook the onions. They'll get beautifully flavored and seasoned by the wine. 
Okay, now at this step, we're going to add a little bit of cream, a little bit of heavy cream. Now, a lot of recipes will not call for heavy cream, uh, but I will tell you that if you're a beginner making this, heavy cream will help you. It will, it will keep your butter from breaking. And what you want to do is shut the fire off and add one butter at a time, putting it down in the pan, down in the pan. And it's important to use cold butter. You're probably saying to yourselves, why don't you just add the melted butter in there? But it's not really how to do this. And what will happen is everything will break. So you want to make sure that your butter sort of gets melted a little at a time, but you don't want it to break. It's very important. Now we add just a little bit of this hot sauce, just a tad. Thank you for watching this fun-filled episode of Taste This TV. I'm your host, Chef Joe Simonero. Remember, there are no rules in cooking. We use this incredible salmon from BC Salmon Company in Canada, giving us wild-caught salmon, folks. Remember the word, wild-caught. And it's, the flavor is really married well, and we put it together. Right now, I'm going to go in the room and consume this. Don't forget to subscribe to our channel, Taste This.